I have been drawn to art and to the creative process. I can't really trace why. It certainly didn't come from my family. It was serendipity in a lot of ways. I was working at Lazard for an investment banking firm in New York City, and a client asked, would you like to come and head up a group of arts institutions in Brooklyn? And I said, yes. From there, it was both a personal and professional path. When I think about why we're here, two words come to me, to experience. I have this picture of an eternal sea of creativity. Each of us is a droplet from that sea. We're here to experience as much as we can and to enhance our droplets, returning them to enrich the whole. Creativity, then, is an important part of that. Because if all you're doing is absorbing and experiencing, that doesn't add anything back. By creating, we contribute to that sea. We enhance the totality of everything. I think each of us is creative. You just have to relax. You have to open those blinds in your mind and let the creative force come in. I started by writing poetry. Then I took a watercolor course at the Omega Institute in Rhinebeck, New York. I have a friend, Marshall Baer, who is a fascinating artist. He worked in balsa wood, and I got interested in what he was doing. He gave me a couple of pieces of balsa wood, and it became a Michelangelo kind of thing. It's what I think when I'm tutoring students at Morrisville. There is something great in there. It's my job to let it out. I ask and I get answers. Recently, I'm doing more and more of just putting things together. Found art. It's really fun to go and find a bunch of objects and say, what do you guys want to be? One of my pieces is at Mad Art right now. It's called Remote Viewing. It's what all those remotes I had lying around decided to be. I'm also working on a project called Breathe. I have sleep apnea, so I wear a mask. Every three months, they give you a new one. So I have all these old masks. I have a stand, some frames, some smaller sculptures. I ask them, what do you guys want to be? That's my creative process. There are some people and I admire them greatly, they can see what the thing's going to be before they start. But I don't know what it's going to be. That's fun. For me, the act of creating, the process, is really the key. The process is more important than the end result. That's what contributes to the sea of creativity. Art is a release for me. It gets me back to a bigger purpose. It gets me away from, it's the evening and I'm tired, so I'm going to watch television and let my brain go to sleep. I think it keeps alive that part of me that says, remember why you're here. <laughs>